And so finally, um, when we decided to keep into the bicycle business after two children, it was whether my husband was going to keep his job or what, and he decided to come and, you know, make it a, a store, run the store. Right. Um, we started out with these few little accessories, and they sold, and he, my husband wasn't really that crazy about <coughs> the... Uh, fish, which I wasn't either, because the damn things <laughs> Chase said, yeah. <laughs> committed suicide. They'd jump out of the tank, oh and they'd goodness. land on the floor, and they'd be dead in the morning, you know, and I would never pick one up, so he would have to do it, so it was a riot, but anyway. Um, so that's, we, we that's how the cycle shop evolved. Well, we the fish up, were committing suicide. Right. <laughs> we saved up $500, borrowed a truck, and Jay had built a, um, a um, platform okay. and he went into New York and for $500 you wouldn't believe the number of bikes he came back with wow. but that was 50 years ago oh. we had juveniles we had adult we had everything and we put them out and the first customer came in and had a flat tire and wow. my husband was named Jay of yeah. course that's why it's Jay cycle mm -hmm. and um, he, we had to take it downstairs, that was where the workshop was, and he was real nervous doing the first flat, but he did it, and from all that, in 50 years, and here we are. Wow. But he passed away, and it has been my son's, really, wow. um, the one that's made it grow into um, such a, uh, well, it's evolved with the times, you know. It really a, has, yeah, and it, 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 it's something for everyone here, every level, right, um, right. Can anyone so, can stop in, either get started or continue right. on, yeah. And we have a great staff, and we do excellent fitting, because mm -hmm. the key to successful cycling is proper fit. Yeah. And I've always said that, yeah. so it's uh, really great. We t take them from two years old, we like to start them on a little two-wheeler. Well, yeah, your son was telling me that you love yeah. to help out the little kids who right. come in and get their, get their bikes and their equipment. Yeah. I have them come in now and say, when I was a little kid, my father bought me in and bought me my first bike at Jay's. Yeah. And now here's my child, you know, and, oh, yeah. We yeah. Would fit the, and we fit the child. So I am selling to the, like the grandchildren of wow. the people that I sold to over the years. That's great. Well, it, congratulations. It's like a family business. Yeah, it definitely is. Yeah. Right. And we feel very, very comfortable in Westfield. Yeah. And why did you choose to stay in Westfield? What are your thoughts about at having a business here? We had here? three stores going. Mm -hmm. Um, the one in Scotch Plains was the original one, and it was just long and skinny. There wasn't yeah. enough room for bikes. Uh, the one in Plainfield, we sold to Cy, C-Y, okay. and he painted out the J, and they, <laughs> the, the J-A, and made it C-Y. Okay. And um, he went on to be successful for many, many, many years, and he moved on out to Dunellen and so forth. Okay. And we kept the one in Westfield because it was the largest and right. closest, and we lived in Scotch Plains. Mm -hmm. and. This is a, that and was here the you are. There. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, congratulations. Good Thank luck you so to much. you. Thanks for talking to us. My pleasure. Whether it's a brisk walk in the park or a 5K run right here in downtown Westfield, the Westfield Running Company has everything you need to meet your fitness goals. The uh, Westfield Running Company came to Westfield. We originated in actually uh, Princeton, New, New Jersey. Uh, had our second store in Ridgewood, and then we opened up in Morristown in Westfield. Mm -hmm. And uh, just Westfield is a downtown uh, that's very nice with you know, the Gap and, and all the uh, other stores that kind of bring everybody to town here. Uh, it's a uh, local sports hotspot for mm -hmm. in terms of uh, like high school uh, sports and just overall active community. I see. Well, how many years have you been here in downtown Westfield? We've been here for six years. Mm -hmm. And uh, what services do you offer the community? Yeah, we, I mean, we definitely cater to the beginner runner. Uh, they can come in and we can offer them running advice. We, can, we go through a whole fitting shoe process. Um, we have apparel and all the accessories for running. Mm -hmm. um, we have group runs from the store here every Wednesday at 7 o'clock. Okay. And we cater to a lot of the high school business uh, as well as the overall public. Okay, so a lot of sports teams will come in, like track teams? Yeah, a lot of okay. local high school sports teams okay. will come in. And right. we'll have you know spike nights for them, and we'll have uh, you know we do the uniforms for a lot of them as well. What's spike night? Uh, they come in, and we have uh, big discounts for all the local high school kids, and they come in and they the new spikes for like a cross country season or track and field okay. uh, season. They come in, they get discounts and fitted for those shoes and spikes. Oh, great. Okay. All right. Well, why don't you talk to us? I know you have like all types of running shoes uh, and walking shoes too, right? Uh, running well, running shoe. 
basically it's the same thing as a walking is shoe. It? It's a okay. little bit more cushioning okay. uh, than, a, than a walking shoe. Mm -hmm. So we end up uh, putting most people on a running shoe. Okay. So. All right. So what different types do you have here? Like what should uh, a new person who's looking to start running or jogging, what are they looking for? Well, the, uh, first of all, I mean, they come in, we go through a whole fitting process there. All right. So we'll have you take off your shoes. All right, so I'll have you walk down towards the carpet over there. All right, come on back. You can do a standing, like a standing squat right there, Dave. Okay, let's head up to the treadmill. All right, so for here, what we're looking for is we're looking to see how his foot is actually moving and the like where the motion is coming from. So we do this usually with a camera right here. Um, and what we're looking for is just to see how his foot is actually transitioning through. David is pretty, is pretty neutral. He actually has a little bit of a um, over pronation on the, on the right foot just slightly. And so we'll go with some kind of posted shoe real late stage pronation. All right, Dave. All right. So there's basically three types of shoes. There's a neutral shoe and there's uh, a moderate stability, and then there's motion control. For David, we're gonna go with a moderate stability shoe. Moderate stability means that it has a, basically a posting or a double density rubber on the medial side of the shoe. And there's varying degrees of, of you know, cushioning and stability in shoes. All right, once you get those laces, we'll head kind of back over to the treadmill and see how they're working for you. So with this shoe, this shoe, it should stabilize his right foot there. It won't be crashing in like it was doing before. It's actually going to stabilize it, get into back into a neutral position. All the, uh, all the clothes have, are basically a, a polyester. There's no cotton. Okay. Cotton, is, cotton in, in our world is bad, uh, just because it holds on to moisture. Right, right. And as you wash it, it gets very abrasive. Okay. So th these, a good dry fit shirt or pant or sock mm -hmm. um, should last you almost a lifetime. And, really? Yeah, in oh, terms wow. of the, you know, the useful life of it. Um, they all get the moisture away from your body, mm -hmm. uh, so that we're not, you know, in those really hot days, or even even in just being in the gym. I mean, yeah. you, you know, you can you know sweat and right. be all on a cotton mm -hmm. shirt. Mm -hmm. This gets the moisture away and it evaporates, and that way, cooling your body down, getting your core temperature down as well. Okay. Um, a lot of the a lot of the material now has, has uh, sunscreen in it, and the idea is just to be protected, you know, head to toe, and especially now in yeah. the time where everybody's sensitive to the skin. Yeah. So I mean, they do make some like you know fashionable shoes that look like spikes, like Pumas and, and, and Adidas and Nike have like you know their shoes that will look like this, but it won't have the, the spike plate. Okay. Um, you know, then there's there's racing shoes as well. So like racing shoe would be a lot lighter, less less cushioning in the shoe. And so how does this does this help you go faster? The light, the, being lighter will help you. Is that all on you? It's all, it's, it's all on you. The, shoe, the shoe's not going to make you go faster. Okay. You can definitely cut off a little bit of time by, by yeah, know, these are getting really a little lighter shoe. Now, yeah, because I mean, I always found like my sister will wear these, but she wears them like if she goes on the elliptical, mm -hmm. and I've borrowed her shoes to go to the track, and it's like impossible to run in those well, shoes. It, it's a little bit heavier, but you're also getting the shock absorption and the cushioning. I guess so, yeah. So are those good for you, though? The thinner shoe, is that okay to run in? or? Not, not, not as an everyday shoe. No, you know, just because okay. you're not getting the support, you're not getting oh. the cushioning, or and back to the biomechanics and of you know running, they're not usually ones that are you know very stable. Um, you know, for somebody that needs that stability in a shoe, mm -hmm. and they just really minimal in a, in a racing shoe, just to get that lightness, and you know you're going to use it for you're going to use it for the local downtown 5K or something like that. Right, but right. Not for uh, not not for your everyday training. Mm -hmm. So Dee, tell me about Chocolat. Uh, first of all, how did this place come about? I'm kind of sure. <laughs>
Do you have anything that comes in like a heel or an open toe or anything? No? Nothing, nothing, nothing really like a heel that. or open toe. <laughs> no. Sling back? No. no. <laughs>